Hi, my name is Kayla. Hi, my name is Brandon. And I'm Cameron, and today we'll be reading you the Lorax. But first we're going to share the reasons why reading is important to celebrate Read Across America. <laughs> Okay, we'll just cut that out. Okay, <laughs> okay, so reading is important because it builds your reading skill and your vocabulary, and it, you can help you gain knowledge. Okay. <laughs> you won't see the monster. Don't knock on his door. He stays in the circum on top of his store. He lurks in the circum cold under the roof, where he makes his own clothes out of myth muffled move. And on special dank midnights and on his <laughs> feet, I'm sorry, out of the shutters and somebody speaks and tells how the Lord is lifted away. He tell you, he'll tell you perhaps if you're willing to pay. On the end of a rope, he lets down a tin pail, and you have to toss him fifty cents in a nail. And the shell of a great, 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 great grandfather snail. Then he pulls up the pill and makes a most careful count. If you've seen that, if you, if then you see, he pulls up the pill and makes a most careful count to see if you paid him the proper amount. Then he hides what you paid him in his snub, his secret strange hole in his. Rub you with love. Then he runs. I will call you by whisper, Mom. <laughs> for the secrets I tell you are for your ears alone. Slip. Down slips the whisper of a phone to your ear, and the old Winsor's whispers are not very clear, since they have to come down through a snurgly hose, and he sounds as if he had smallish bees up his nose. Now I'll tell you, he says, with his teeth sounding great, how the Lorax got lifted and taken away. It all started way back, such a long, long time back. Way back in the days when the grass was still green, and the pond was still wet, and the clouds were still clean, and the song of the Swami Swans rang out in space. One morning I came to this glorious place. I first saw the trees, the truffula trees, the bright colored tufts of the truffula trees, mile after mile in the fresh morning breeze. And under the trees I saw brown barbaloots frisking around about in their barbalu suits as they played in the shade and ate truffula fruits. From the ripulous pond came the comfortable sound of the humming fish humming while splashing around. But those trees, those trees, those truffula trees, all my life I'd been searching for trees such as these. The touch of their tufts with much, was much softer than silk, and they had the sweet smell of fresh butterfly milk. I felt a great leaping of joy in my heart. I knew just what I'd do. I unloaded my cart. In no time at all, I had built a small shop. Then I chopped down a truffula tree with one chop, and with great skillful skill, and with great speedy speed. I took the soft tuft and I knitted a knee. I have a question. What does chopping down trees do for the environment? The instant I finished, I heard a gazump. I looked. I saw something pop out of the stump of the tree I chopped down. It was a sort of man. Describe him? That's hard. I don't know if I can. He was shortish and oldish and brownish and mossy. He spoke with a voice that was sharp and mossy. He said with a sawdusty sneeze, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. I'm asking you, sir, at the top of my lungs. He was very upset as he shouted and puffed. What's that thing you've made out of my truffle? I said, there's no cause for alarm. I've chopped this one tree. I'm doing no harm. I'm being quite useful. This thing is a thneed. A thneed's a fine something that all people need. It's a shirt. It's a sock. It's a glove. It's a hat. But it has other uses. Yes, far beyond that. You can use it for carpets, for pillows, for sheets, for curtains, or covers, or bicycle seats. The Lorax said, Sir, you are crazy with greed. There is no one on earth that would buy you that. But the very next minute, I proved he was wrong. For just at that minute, a chap came along, and he thought that the thneed I had knitted was great. He happily bought it for three ninety-eight. I laughed at the Lorax. You poor stupid guy. You never can tell what some people will buy. Lorax. I speak for the trees. Go. I'm busy, I told him. Shut up, if you please. I rushed across the room, and in no time at all, I built a radio phone. I put in a quick call. I called all my brothers and uncles and aunts, and I said, Listen here, here's a wonderful chance for the whole ones their family to get mighty rich. Get over here fast. Take the road to North Niche. Turn left at Weehawken. Sharp right at and South Stitch. And in no time at all, in the factory I built, the whole ones their family was working full tilt. We were all knitting thieves, just as busy as bees, to the sound of the chopping of truffles. We're going to stop the book right there. 
but from what you've seen so far, what do you think the theme is? And think about cutting down the trees and what the ones that are saying. If you want to check out more of the story, go to your local library. Bye!